Hi, I'm Mark Dice. Welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force. No. I also may have to go back and do something. Which I really don't want to have to go all the way back and do, but... I may have missed out on one of those awesome characters. But I didn't see him there, so... I'm not sure what's going on with that. It is not May's day. Ha 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 ha. Come on. At least the bats didn't put anybody in goddamn sleep. Come on, give me like Gong's turn or someone else's turn. Whatever, that works. <clears throat> So it doesn't matter. My only real concerns with this battle is getting May and uh, Gort up to sufficient levels. I mean, it just harms my party if I don't at least get them up a little higher. Mostly just getting them to strike fatal blows. That's really the best thing I can do. And I guess it's gonna dodge. Oh, it didn't. Excellent. Alright, one more kill and then May should be good to go. Oh, oops. Forgot to equip him. Doopsie doo. Twice. In a row. Come on, Gort, you can do better than that. Yeah, actually, might as well get Rolo up. I don't think she'll kill him. That'll be enough for Gort to kill him. The battle is kind of a mess at the moment, but it'll resolve itself shortly. Most of my characters don't even receive that much damage. I mean, May in the beginning really, really, really sucks to kind of level up. But once she's up in level, she's not bad. She exceeds Ken in like the mid and high range levels my opinion, just based on playing. I've changed around my party like 80 different ways to try to see like really what is the best options, and I don't know, I think I've refined it to characters that I don't mind using like that. Also, May sucks in hit points. Ken gets an absurd amount of hit points, but like every enemy does like double or triple damage of what May receives. So it kinda sucks. Ooh, baby. That was awesome. Attack this one, you're guaranteed to kill it. Unless you miss.
Dang it, I should probably get Gong up another level. Still level 3. In the beginning, there's a lot more of this, like, make sure their levels are right crap, which I kinda hate. And once I get over... Like, the hump of the beginning where characters really are on thin ice, whether they live or die, uh, then it's not so bad. I mean, pretty much these battles are set up to work this way. I could have waited instead of doing the Shrine of the Ancients, grinding on this battle, but the giant bats really do mess your day up. And also, five rune knights is pretty excessive. Should be doing a lot more damage. Uh, when you level up, if you gain 48 and you only have like 4, you'll only really gain 4. Kinda sucks it doesn't fold over into the next level, which is like a huge problem in this. Um, it, I find it kinda frustrating, especially if there's only like a few enemies left and you have like no other choice. I hate wasting the experience. I decided to flip a coin, whether to let's play this, or to play X3 Terran Conflict, or XCOM uh, UFO Defense. But the coin decided in favor of this. I also was debating doing a GBA LP, but I have a lot of backlogs, so not a big deal. I mean, probably it would be figuring out how to get Golden Sun to stupid friggin' game doesn't work on any emulators or anything. I can't find anything compatible, which is kind of frustrating. So, I might have to skip that LP altogether, um, or just do it again later when I can actually do it. I'd have Gort have the kill. Yeah, Gort have the kill. Level up. There we go, attack by two. Magic points by three, that's pretty, pretty nice. I would say I'd grind on the Rune Knights, but they're not really to be messed with. I mean, they can double hit characters pretty common, deadly attacks. Speed increased by one, really? <clears throat> That's terrible. You're a bastard. I'm gonna go up there and kill those bats, because <clears throat> those bats cause a lot of problems later. When I go up to attack the rune knights, the bats basically try to sweep in from behind. So if you have like healers and mages in the back, it ends up being a very bad situation. Really, it's best to try to hit them with like magic or something of the like. Like arrows. Probably die if I send him up there.
Vista. Actually, I should chill out with her for a minute. I don't want her getting too far ahead in levels. I mean, yeah, she has Blaze too, so she's pretty much an experienced player now. It also sucks because if she kills two enemies, she doesn't get like full experience, so to speak. Like, if both enemies are worth 48, she won't get, whatever, 96. She'll actually only receive 48. I think a maximum of 70, I think, is the most you can get in any experience run, but I think that's only aura level 4. <clears throat> and killing pretty much everything in a bullet path. Okay, they're sending pretty much everybody. I don't care if one or two characters die, it's not really a big deal for me. Really, again, all I care about is... is, uh... getting May and other characters up to higher levels. May and Gorf. I do like the background. Like, it kinda... they don't change it this one, but in later ones, like, if you're on the woods, and you're on, somebody else is on the grassland, it'll change the, yeah, something good. Let's see, are you lower on health? Yes, you are. Too divided. I didn't expect the rune knights to come down so fast. Yeah, no, was it? try to surround my lead character and kill him. You better kill him. You son of a bitch. Wouldn't it technically be daughter of a bitch? Are you ever going to gain a level? He's already damaged. Oh, I can pretty much attack anything as long as I hit. I'll gain a level. Sweet. Attack plus one, that's it.
See? Sons of bitches. I knew he was going to attack twice. Frickin' knew it. Whatever, I might just off-screen this battle. Uh, not fully, but off-screen a portion of it. And here come the bats with double hits soon. battle, it's a lot easier to grind up in the next battle, so, 